In this lecture, we will learn about hybrid cloud. In simple words, hybrid cloud combines both public and private clouds. The key point of a hybrid cloud is that it is a cloud solution that allows seamless interaction between public and private clouds. For example, public cloud can access data and applications of private cloud, and the converse is also possible. Therefore, it is a perfect solution for organizations that need flexibility, cost saving, quick scalability features of public cloud, and additionally better security and control features of private cloud. There are two common types of hybrid cloud. One is cloud bursting type, in which organizations use private clouds to securely store their data and proprietary applications. However, when more resources are needed due to the increase in service needs, and if their private cloud infrastructure may need to be improved, they look for public cloud and tap into public cloud resources to fulfill their increased service demands. In the second type of hybrid cloud, organizations store their data and proprietary applications in private clouds. However, they outsource their non-critical applications to public cloud, such as Microsoft Office 365 or CRM solutions, such as Salesforce. Also, organizations can leverage multi-cloud architecture in hybrid cloud, where organizations can use different cloud providers for their various cloud services needs. Hybrid Cloud's main advantage is that you can leverage the best features of both types of clouds. For example, organizations can use private clouds to secure and regulate their data tightly. And then they can securely move them to public clouds such as AWS, for example, to leverage their analytical machine learning services to build actionable insight solutions with cost and time efficiency. Hybrid Cloud saves overall IT infrastructure costs because public clouds can be used when scalability is needed. Additionally, many services are readily available on public cloud providers, which can be leveraged instead of developing your in-house solutions, for example, analytical services. With regards to cons, since there is integration between private and public clouds, this can cause potential performance issues because of network latency and security risks, as data are shared between public and private clouds.